John Bling Bling Clark. Good Tuesday morning. We What's hope, up, buddy? We hope we hope this is released on Tuesday morning, but we'll get maybe we'll get to that later. <laughs> it's been a heck of a weekend. Let's talk about your personal, and then we'll get to your professional. How are okay. you doing, John Clark? How's your personal life? <laughs> the listeners, the listeners want to know how, and I we want all the details. Really, we want it all. There's been some uh, some stuff keeping me awake. Yeah, dude. Anytime you got kiddos running around the house all the time, it's a constant battle just to make sure that the house doesn't get destroyed. Is it Greg and, Locke? Uh, so is that, is that part of your weekend right there, Greg Locke and his supporters? So we got to tell we got to tell listeners about this. As as some of y'all know, we released an episode that kind of detailed Greg Locke and his. Uh, journey at his church and about 15 minutes after we released the episode we received an email from someone who named themselves demons and they said and i quote you two are demons and are doing the work of the devil with your show if i ever see you If I ever see you on the streets of Nashville, I will cast out those demons in you and you can be free in Jesus name. End quote. Well, now. Amen. (laughs) I read that email to my mom. What did she think? Finally. What? Finally. Finally what? Finally somebody else sees what I've been trying to say for 41 years about you, Matthew. She thinks you got a demon in you too. Apparently, um, why hasn't she tried to cast it out? She doesn't go to Greg Locke's church, so she doesn't have the power. Ah, uh, okay, okay. We got this email, and if you were trying to scare us, it didn't work. We kind of had a good laugh about it, actually. Like, I mean, we're both followers of Christ. We're not followers of this whatever Jesus this guy's talking about. Or his listeners, I kind of thought it was kind of funny. Like I appreciate the email. Like I, I don't like I am so lonely and desperate and needy for attention. I'll take anything, even if it's that you're threatening to cast out demons of me uh, on the streets of Nashville. Well, I mean, we can only hope that we get that kind of interaction. That would make for a great TikTok video. Maybe I'll finally be able to get some traction on Twitter and TikTok if somebody tries to cast a demon out of you. So, John Clark, I went to, on Saturday night, went with the chick. We had a celebration, and we went to a pretty nice restaurant. Down, I can't even remember the name or I'd say it. And, you know, the whole, the whole nine, car service, everything, it was great. Could you imagine getting out, car service opens the door, and, like, we're walking the 10 feet from the car to the entrance of the restaurant, and like Bertha from the Vision Bible, what is the church called again? What's the stupid church called again? Anyways, Greg Locke's Vision. church. From the ten feet from the car to the doors, just like bum rushes me and just starts like throwing like water on me. And like the power of Christ <laughs> will compel you. The power of Christ will compel you. I would lean all the way into it, and I would hope that my chick would. Uh, Catch me, because I would I would hundred I'd I'd lean all the way into it. I'd get slain in the spirit, and I'd just let it happen because I feel like in that situation that's the only thing you can do to not get attacked uh, even further. Because what happens if nothing happens? You know what I mean? Like, do you oh, think they're actually going to stop if nothing happens? They're not going to stop until they get what they they want. So you're going to sit there. I'm going to miss dinner. I will tell you this. It, when we got who, because this coward didn't even put their name. Okay. They didn't no. even put their name. So I actually told John, I said, dude, we should go to downtown. And if we get bum rushed by somebody trying to cast out a demon or demon, it was plural, right? There was demons in it, right? Yeah. Demons. Yeah. Well, they, t- they, they called, they called themselves demons actually, which, which I thought was interesting, but yeah. Uh, you know, these Greg Locke people, the internet's new to them, okay? Like, like they 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 just got AOL like a month ago. But anyways, 
we actually said we go to downtown Nashville. We run into this person. Like I said, John, what would you do? And he said, I'm, I'm going to get slain and I'm going to fall in your arms. You better be ready to catch me. <laughs> Crazy is pretty good entertainment for dinner. Why don't you come? I'll buy your dinner. Come on. You can cast out demons while we're eating food. All right. I just think it's funny, John Clark, that his supporters, his followers, want to send us an email telling us that we have demons. But I guess everybody in that church forgets that he divorced his wife and married him. Yeah, yeah. And, and wasn't she married as well? She was married. And then also his ex-wife is speaking out, and she did this a couple of years ago. He got her institutionalized to justify the divorce. Goodness gracious. If you're going to go down the road of trying to cast out demons, Greg Locke and your minions, like why don't we turn to the front of the stage of the Global Vision Bible Church and leave John and I alone? And we got blocked. We got blocked from him by, on Instagram. That was actually kind of exciting when you told me that, that we were blocked <laughs> from his Instagram page. The um, uh, the disappointing part is apparently he just recently got banned from Twitter, so we didn't get a chance to see if he would have blocked us on Twitter, but clearly. Any, anybody who's listening to our show to report back to your dear leader, Greg Locke, tell him that we're talking about him today. I are not going to rest until he calls us demons from the pulpit. We're not even going to sue or anything like we're going to we'll. We'll laugh if you call if you if you Greg Locke right now, you phony baloney pastor. If you get up and you say the rants are a bunch of demons and you shouldn't listen to them, buddy, I will never talk about you again after that. Please. The the, the microphone is open to crazy, Greg Locke. Grab your little mistress, get up on that stage, and let's have a good show. And and anytime you want to bring your hypocritical self on the show. John and I will be as fair to you as you have been to anybody who doesn't believe like you believe. Right, John Clark? I think that's fair. We're going to bum rush him and be like, Greg Locke, we just have one thing we want to say to you. Say hello to your ex-wife. And she's like swinging. <laughs> now, I do, since we are talking, we weren't even planning to talk about this fool, but we're going to talk about him. It sounds like, allegedly, based on the timeline, the woman he married was also likely having an affair with her husband. Uh, they were the married they for married. They were married for 21 years. Wow. Wow. And this is the yep. guy we're, we're following into battle here. Yeah. And we're, we're, we're sending emails to stupid shows to defend this guy's honor. Yikes. So, I mean, bring it, bring it, Greg Locke. I ain't a, look, here's the deal. I'm not afraid of you or your supporters because all you are is a bunch of tough people who want to cast out demons out of us. When you call yourself a demon in an email, you jerk. Yeah. The whole, the whole, the whole exchange. Oh, there wasn't much of an exchange. The whole, the whole message was just super weird. It was, a, it was a very, very odd thing. I will say this to Greg Locke and his supporters right now. I live in Brentwood, Tennessee. Come find me. I ain't afraid of you. John lives in Lexington, Kentucky. You stay as far away from him as possible. <laughs> far away. But I ain't afraid of you, and I ain't afraid of your supporters. Come, cast a demon on me. Let's go. I, hey, look, I need all the prayer I can get in life. So if you want to add on, add on. But I ain't afraid of you people. But keep sending emails and listening to the show because we appreciate you uh, giving us money. <laughs>